I'm afraid we need to use math. Match game! Match game! Match game! What's your name? I'm a Kamen Rider. What's up, everybody? It's the Quarter Guy, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel, part of the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. On the last episode, we liberated End Area 5 and drove all of Nebula out of the main net. And all that's left is the Undernet. But, uh, that was in Team Proto Man. Now we're about to see what's up with Team Colonel. So, Lan arrives for the meeting. Mega Man's operator, Lan. Nightman's Operator, Princess Pride. Shadow Man's Operator, Dusk. Tomahawk Man's Operator, Dingo. Good, we're all here. What's going on, Beryl? Don't keep us in suspense. There are three reasons I've got you all here today. Firstly, so you can all meet each other. The Navvies know one another already, but this is the first time all of us operators have met. I thought it would be a good idea for us all to get acquainted. Okay, so what's the second reason? I suppose it's part of getting to know each other. There's someone new I'd like you to meet. Come on in. And it's Higsby! What? No way! I don't know how he heard about us, but he's been begging me to let him join the team. Higsby's the name! Pleased to meet you all, huh? What are you doing here, Higsby? Do you know him, lad? Know him? He's the owner of the chip shop in my town! Why have you joined our team, Higsby? Lan, I can't really explain right now, huh? I suppose you could say to become a man, huh? Become a man? But you're already a great man! No, no, I mean a strong man! A man who can protect the things he cares about, huh? I've come to take Nebula head-on, to become a real man! But, Higsby, we're talking about Nebula here, right? Are you sure you can handle it? He'll be fine. A man protecting something is as strong as they come. He might not be the toughest guy around, but his Navi, Number Man, has processing power we could use. Exactly! I'll be useful, huh? Tell us the mission, Barrel, huh? I'm ready for action! Fine. The third reason I got you all here today is to brief you for our next mission. Our next, our next task is to liberate End Area 5. If we succeed, we'll have liberated the entire net. After liberating End Area, we'll force the leftover Nebula agents into the internet and round them up. Actually, exactly what net is End Area part of anyway? Lan explained it to me briefly once like this. End area is the net in End City. A city with a castle that's famous for its giant gargoyle. Gargoyle? It's a huge fish statue on the castle roof. A charm to protect the castle from fires, apparently. Yes, I see. It's the first time I've heard the name. So, Beryl, are we starting the mission right now? We're not doing a recon mission first? No need for recon, huh? Just leave it to me and Number Man! You got some guts, huh? Play by the rules and face your enemy head on, right? Exactly. Everyone get ready and send your navvies into end area four. That's all. And Lan, I've got something for you, so come by later, okay? Got it! You have mail, Lan. Let's first get the uh, folder from Barrel. Lan, take this to commemorate the return of Mega Man. Lan got folder two. Thank you, Beryl. You don't need to thank me. I expect a lot more work from Mega Man, that's all. And as for the emails, we have a, a couple of double souls we need to cover. Chaos Unison, yeah, 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 we already covered that. All right, Tom, first Shadow Soul. Sh Shadow Soul lets you sync up by using invisible base chips. It speeds you up. Press B and left to use anti-magic. Use B power attack to swing longsword two squares ahead. 
Use A power attack with sword-based chips, and you can hit any enemy from behind. Shadow Soul makes you as elusive as a shadow. I know you'll be able to put it to good use. And then there's Tomahawk Soul! Tomahawk Soul lets you sink by using wood-based chips. It turns all panels into grass panels, and that's not all. It doubles attack strength for wood-based chips over grass panels. Power attack with B to swing a 3 x 2 size tomahawk. You won't get confused or paralyzed by wood-based traps, either. I know you'll be able to put Tomahawk Soul to good use. Alright, so there's... Chaos Unison? So now I have Chaos Unison. Just who the heck sent that mail? Anyways, I'll show you how it works on the net. For the, uh, two new Double Souls and for the new Chaos Unisons. Alright, let's demonstrate Shadow Soul. By using a... Invis chip like anti damage. So, you get a long sword for a. a long... Ah, I can't seem to get the anti magic timing down, but uh, that's the sort of thing you can do with Shadow Soul. Alright, so by sacrificing a uh, wood chip like Cacta Ball, you can go into Tomahawk Soul. So let's demonstrate it. First off, it turns the whole field grass. Now the charge attack takes a long time to uh, charge up, but it gives you a wide, wide range attack. And you can also power up the, uh... Grass chips on... Grass terrain. Hard for me to demonstrate that right now. So... Boom. So that's how Tomahawk Soul works. Meanwhile, in End Area 4, let's see how the conversation goes this time with Number Man. The area we're liberating is behind here. Does that door look like it'll open, Mega Man? It's got a really sophisticated electronic lock. You need that door opening? Leave it to me! This is my area, Mega Man! Let me take a look! Number Man. Yes, your analysis abilities can hack the electronic lock. But let's wait until the rest of the crew have got here. No, no, I'll get it open before the others turn up! Then everyone will be impressed! Enthusiasm is fine, but I don't want you making decisions. Colonel! So, can you open it? It might take a bit of time, but it won't be a problem. Good. Get cracking, then. Wait, number man, huh? What is it, Higsby? News just in from Miss Mariko, huh? She's sending her navy into the net and asked me to lend you a, to her as its bodyguard. We've got to get going now, huh? Me? A bodyguard? I can't do that. But she's not going to take no for an answer. Okay, okay, I'll do it. What's the situation, number man? Something's come up with my operator all of a sudden. Would you mind if we put this mission off until tomorrow? Do we have any choice? We can't do anything if we can't open this door. Just make sure this is the last time. If it happens again, you'll be out of the team. Understood? I'm really sorry. Today's mission will be postponed until tomorrow. We'll assemble again then. That is all. Dismissed. Well, what can you do? Sorry for messing everyone around. I'm sure there's a good reason. We'll rest today and be ready for action tomorrow. Hmm. No combat today? Better get some exercise in ready for tomorrow, then. 
Everyone's gone. What are we gonna do? Well, there's someone I, where I'd like to go, Mega Man. Where? Dad's lab! The day he was taken away, he was gonna show us something. Maybe that'll give us an idea of what Regal's after. It might be a clue. Good idea. Okay, let's get over to the lab then. Jack out! All right. And once again, we, uh... Once again, we have the scene. I hope we can get into Dad's computer. Yes, well, you've got your Dad's ID. It'll be fine. Hey, Lan. Hmm? What is it? Isn't that Higsby over there? Huh? What's he doing here? And he's off. Hey, uh, he's gone! Oh well, never mind. Let's go to the lab then. So... The cutscene plays as usual. Except this time, Lan remembers Higsby. So... We head out to the lab, outside of Scilab. And Higsby's right there. What's up, Lan, huh? Hey, Number Man's good at analyzing data, isn't he? Of course, huh? I'd like to see the data Number Man couldn't analyze. I have a job for him and his powers. And Lan explains, security analysis of Dr. Hikari's computer, huh? Sounds fun, I'll help you, huh? I have to call a traitor, but I'll catch up with you. You go on ahead, Lan, huh? Okay, I'll wait for you there. Hey, Higsby, there's something odd about you today. Nope, nothing odd, huh? Just your pal Higsby, huh? Well, okay, I hope so. I'll be right there, huh? Okay, see you there. It's like with Rika. Kind of surprised that Lan didn't act on it before. Could have saved us a lot of trouble. Ah, look! Higsby in here! So Higsby, well, Higsby arrives. Higsby, it's about this computer. First, I just want to check something. This is your dad's lab. In other words, it's one of the most highly secret places in Electopia. Surely letting in a foreign serviceman will be a problem. Well, you're not exactly foreign. Don't be daft, we're teammates. We want the same thing. Forget about that. Can you just bypass the security? Teammates? <laughs> okay then, I'll turn off the security. Number man, disable the security. Roger! Commencing data analysis. Analysis complete. Starting security hack program. Done! He's done it! All that's left is one item of text data. Read it. To my son, Yuichiro. Don't go neglecting Gao. You shouldn't get his fur wet. He's grouchy wet, so if Rainy be a nice kid and let him in. And then there's all that. That's all it says. It's a letter from Grandpa to Dad. Do you know of anything about this Gao Mega Man? No. It's the first time I've heard the name. But something's not right about that letter. Definitely. It needs closer examination. We went to all this trouble to bypass the security, but there's nothing here that Nebula would be after. Never mind, it was a great experience for me. I got to look inside the computer of a top world scientist. Sorry to have taken up your time. You were supposed to be meeting Ms. Mariko, right, Higsby? Shouldn't you be getting going? Aha, uh -huh. oh yes. I'll be saying so long then, huh? Well, I'll copy the letter into my PET just in case. Okay, all done. Land got Gramps' letter. But just to show everyone a letter from Grandpa. Dad wouldn't have got us all together for that. 
I better take a closer look at the letter. I agree. Okay, so from here, the scenario will play out until we get to the ACDC town in Cyberworld. So, we'll see what ha- wait, actually, no, it's until we get to end area. So yeah. That's where we will pick up. All right, meanwhile, in End City, if you look under these pamphlets here, you'll get a sub-memory to carry more sub-chips. Meanwhile, Higsby's here. Higsby, we're sure running into each other a lot lately. Lan, thanks for your help before. And thank Number Man for me too, okay? Thanks for what? I don't know what you mean, but why not? Any time, huh? Huh, it's time I got going to see Ms. Mariko. Okay, Lan, see you tomorrow, huh? And then Lan gets confused again. That was weird, he seemed confused. Guess all he's thinking about is Ms. Mariko. Anyway, let's get going, Mega Man. Okay. Well, at least he was a lot more reasonable than Raiko was. Anyway. Sorry, but you... Can't go... Castle Lamp. Sorry, but you can't come in now. Why, you ask? Someone has illegally accessed the castle's control system. Illegal access? Apparently, the communication system in Ended Area 3 was hacked. The security is pretty solid. It must be Nebula. Nebula? I'll go check it out, sir. You? In return, let me into the castle when systems are normal. That's easy enough. Jack into that bronze statue down the slope, and you'll be in End Area 2. And are you sure you'll be all right? Leave it to me. I know I don't look like much, but I know net battling. Okay, but don't do anything crazy. Don't worry. So here's where we jack in. Alrighty. Sh should be easy enough to get to the, uh, to the castle from here. Somebody's there, Lan. It's... Number Man! Which, we, which by now we know is the fake Number Man. Number Man! What's going on? Check the system, Mega Man. It's been illegally accessed. Okay. Com system, but it's completely fine. Maybe Number Man was fixing it? He could at least have said hello. Instead of jacking out like he was running away. Oh well, no harm done. Let's get back to the castle. Right, let's go. And from there, the scenario plays out the same until we get to End City. I mean, ACDC Town in the Cyber World. But there is something else I need to show you. Now behind here, you'll find an HP memory. Now we'll continue the scenario until we get to uh, ACDC Town in Cyber World. I'll catch up with you there. All right, let's see what the fake Number Man story is. All right. Number Man. Well, what a surprise it is to find this area here. It looks like it was worth following you, then. You followed me? Dr. Regal asked me to keep an eye on you two. That's what brought me to visit this area here. Dr. Regal? That's right. Higsby and I are part of Nebula. No way. So you've been lying to us. Ha ha ha. Better to deceive than be deceived. But... Why? Why Nebula? Power! It's quite simple. Dark chips give me more of it. They're amazing. I'm more powerful than ever now. Wake up, Number Man! There's no need to pick a quarrel. I've no intention of fighting you right now. 
I'm still in the middle of a mission, you see. Anyway, I'm sure I'll get to fight you before too long. Hey, wait! I can't believe Number Man and Higsby are in Nebula. Unbelievable. And I wonder what mission it is he was talking about. We better report back to Beryl. Yeah, you're right. As for the fake Mega Man... Well, it's great that everything went according to plan. It's thanks to you and Higsby being there that it did. No, not at all. I'm just glad to be of service. <laughs> Is that you, Mega Man? What are you doing here? <laughs> Mega Man, you'll pay for this! So that's what the fake Mega Man did. Well, and that's what's gonna cause the fight between Mega Man and Number Man, which we'll get to at the end of the castle. Alright, time for the misunderstanding that leads to the battle with Number Man. I guess this is the server. Right, better start fixing it! Stop right there! Number man! So this was your doing! I knew it! I can say the same to you! Why did you do that to Miss Mariko's Navi? What? You're talking gibberish! You're the one who's become a Nebula Navi! It's you who's talking gibberish, huh? Attack him, number man! Ha! It's payback time! This is it, Lan. Leave it to me. Battle routine set! Execute! I'll get you, Mega Man! Alright. Boss time. So, Number Man is gonna have his similar tactics to what he did in Battle Network 4. So we're gonna open with this. Oh. Dang it. But that did some real damage on Number Man. Uh-oh, look out for the die. Oh, a number trap. Uh-oh. Don't want to step on it. Good thing I have... options. Shade Man Nebby Chip? Uh-oh. That takes care of that. <sighs> Why on earth did you join Nebula? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I don't remember doing that. I guess I may as well ask you then. Why did you attack Miss Mariko's Navi? I don't remember doing anything like that. <laughs> of course you don't. We're the ones who did it all. And here are the fakes. I didn't think you'd fall for our plan so easily. You're already a mess after that last battle. This'll be a cinch for us. What a great present for Dr. Regal. So the number man I saw back in ACDC town. Yeah, that was me. So the one who attacked Miss Mariko's Navi. Yep, yours truly. <laughs> and we took care of the Gargoyle Castle server too. If you defeated us, that would put it all to a stop. Now that you could, <laughs> Mega Man, it looks like I owe you an apology. Yeah, same here. What are you two jabbering on about? We won't let you get away, you know. You'll be deleted before you know what's hit you. Higsby, I've got an idea. It was just a misunderstanding, and now they've made up. Why don't we fight these guys off together? That sounds like a pretty good plan, huh? These guys make my blood boil. 
We can't let them get away with this, huh? I guess it's time for you to pay! Pay? You don't stand a chance. I'll delete you in a second. Here goes. And boom. Gah! So now we see your true colors. You can never be the real thing. Gah! You'll be sorry. The great Cosmo Man of End Area 5 will be sure to take revenge for this. Gah! I'm still burning up with anger! Number Man, save your anger for the next mission. You're right. While I'm all fired up like this, I should take care of the door to end area four. Let's go! Number Man, we have to go too, Lan. Okay! All right. And I'm going to end Area 4, huh? Prepare to experience my rant, huh? All right. Higsby is really steamed, as well he should be after that. So we'll meet you at the, do at the door. And we'll show you what Number Man can do. All right. Time to see Number Man work his magic. So we're all here. How's it looking, number man? Nearly there! That's it! It's open! Okay, let's go! We're about to begin the liberation of End Area 5. I want you to stay back here, Shadow Man. Keep a lookout in case the enemy sends reinforcements. If that's what you want, I guess I can't complain. But is a lookout really necessary? We can't be too careful from now on. If you see anything, let us know right away. I see. But no doubt you'll regret not taking me with you. Speed's really important right now. We're counting on you. <laughs> Very well, I'll stand guard. You go and fight to your heart's content. Okay, let's go. Alright. And we're off. Come on, Lan, let's go! Let's start the mission! And we're gonna see what Number Man is capable of. Something's wrong with this dark panel! Good eye, Number Man. I've heard that some dark panels are booby-trapped. We can't just liberate panels haphazardly. This guy sure is one heck of a nasty customer! <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Who the heck are you? I'm Cosmo Man. I control the world of darkness. Let's see how you managed to make it this far. At least he was polite enough to say his name. Take it as a sign of his confidence. He's a strong one, no doubt about it. This place seems to be full of barrier panels. Keep an eye out for traps as we look for the key. Definitely. Number man? I can search for grab items in a six square range without needing to battle anyone. Your search power is something else. Complete the liberation within nine phases. Roger! All right. So. So, uh, let's start with Number Man's ability on the map. Number check. It'll remove any I it'll remove any traps and retrieve any items within a, a 2x3 range in front of him. Like so. Number Man removes the trap panel and collects the item. So, unlike Search Man, you don't actually liberate the panels. But the and the range is a bit different. Now, you may be interested to see what Number Man actually does in battle. So, 
We'll do this liberation and demonstrate. So, Number Man's special chip is Number Trap, which sets a trap on the field that deals 120 damage currently. And his charge attack is a dice bomb. So that's how he works. Oh. Ooh, a paralysis trap. So yeah, that's how Number Man works. Now, I'll see you at the end of the mission for the reward. No! I take my power from the cosmos! I am... Invincible! No! And thus, the mission comes to an end. The team did an excellent job. Now that this area is liberated, the net is ours again. All that's left now is the undernet. The undernet? What's the plan, Colonel? Are we going straight in? Time for the final battle at last! I'm ready whenever! Hang on a sec! Shouldn't we take a breather first? I wonder if it'll be easier to regain our strength a bit! You're just scared of the mention of the Undernet, huh? No, Number Man's right. Nebula is like a wounded beast now. There's no telling what they might do. And we've taken our fair share of damage, too. And anyway, that door that leads to the Undernet. Well, I thought it would be easy to open it. So that's it. Time to jack out. We'll assemble again when it's time to start the mission. Wait, we can't be sure that that door won't open. Can't I at least try my hand at it? We knights don't like to turn our backs on the enemy. Go on, then. You'll try. Uh, here goes! Hurrah! Ah. <sighs> Keep trying, it ain't gonna work. <sighs> Happy now, Nightman. Let's jack out. <laughs> There's nothing for it. We should jack out, too. I'll be in touch when plans are in place. That's all. And? Thanks again, Number Man. Your clear-minded, calculated battles really impress me. Mega Man Souls commune with Number Mans. And now we get the, uh... Team Colonel familiar soul, that being Number Soul. You should probably know how that works by now if you've been watching the Let's Play. Specifically, Battle Network 4, uh... For those of you who haven't, uh, there is something in the, uh, I'll put a card up there. Y'all make a very good team. Things gel together nicely. We should stand a good chance with the internet, too. I'm not very strong, but I'll give it my best shot. Well, we should get some rest before the next battle. Number Man, this team just gets better all the time. Yeah! We better jack out too, Mega Man! Okay. Alright. That brings an end to this section. Next time, we'll meet the final member of Team Colonel. Well, actually, no. Blah, blah, blah. No. Next time, we'll meet the final member of Team Proto Man. So, look forward to that. I'm the Quarter Guy, and until next time, the arcade is closed. Hey everyone, QG here. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video around. Feel free to check out my Twitter and my Twitch streams, and consider supporting me through Patreon, and donating to my Extra Life campaign to support Children's Wisconsin. Thanks for watching.